What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and today is another day of the Total Carb Challenge for the month of August where each week in the month of August, excluding the weekends, I'm going to give you a meal plan on how I am eating and tracking net, I'm sorry, tracking total carbs only. So um, if you enjoy that and like to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll, that lets me know that you want to see more videos like this. Um, and tonight we are having grilled chicken um, and roasted broccoli. I know you've seen a lot of grilled broccoli lately. We're going to do the same method, but we're going to put it in an oven. It does have a different taste. Um, but the actual recipe is going to be the same. So I have a delicious lemon chicken recipe for dinner, and then we're going to cook up some broccoli florets. And um, but prior to that, I had another full day of eating keto. So I will show. I'll start. I'll kick this video off with that. Um, and all the recipes, anything that's needed for this video, will be in the links down below in the description box. Um, that takes you to my website ketorewind.com. So anyways, let's start off with the full day of eating. Okay, lunch today is going to be a three egg omelet stuffed with feta cheese and a side of Canadian bacon and also a new recipe that I will get to in just a second. So let's start with the omelet. Okay, there's a half tablespoon of butter in the pan. I just scrambled three eggs and some pink salt and I will let these cook with the with covered for a minute while that hardens up and we'll be back okay so I've measured out an ounce of feta cheese and we're gonna put the feta cheese right in the omelet along with my three slices of Canadian bacon or ham as some people call it <laughs> and there you have it three egg omelet with feta and Canadian bacon mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going to prepare this before I go down to the, the lake today. So it's going to marinate all day. And I'm this is the marinade I'm using. Olive oil. I'm sorry, avocado oil. Pink salt. Lemon juice. Garlic powder. And Italian seasoning. So I'm going to dice this up and put it in a bowl to marinate. So I'm going to put the exact ingredients on the website down below. Because it's going to be based on how many pounds of chicken you have. So, but that's all there is to it. So I'm going to just get to that point and we'll be back in a few. Okay, so I'm just going to cover the chicken and give it a shake. This mixes the marinade up. Get you a little calorie burn. And then all I'm going to do is put it in the fridge. And throughout the day today when I come up, I'm just going to shake it again. And everything will be nice, evenly encoded. So I'm going to go put this in the fridge. And I'll see you at dinner time. All right, so I'm just going to cut off the tops of all the florets off the um, stem. And then I'll be back at the next step. And action. <laughs> okay, so now we have cut up all of the broccoli. So we want them all evenly sized because they'll cook evenly. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 400. And it takes, depending on how much broccoli you have, will take, obviously will determine the cooking time. But I will put these in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes. Then I'll take them out, turn them, and, and then return them in the oven for another 10 minutes. Or until they're done. Um, so when we get to that point, I'll give you a better um, look. But all I'm doing is taking some avocado oil, roughly two tablespoons per person. Now the... Lemon chicken that has been marinating has hardly any fat on it. So I am going to be low on fat. So that's why I use roasted um, broccoli in this case. So I'm going to put two tablespoons per person. I'm cooking for a lot of people. Um, so I'm not going to give you the exact amount here because there's eight or seven of us. I don't know. There's a lot of us. <laughs> but for you, just a rule of thumb, two tablespoons of oil per person. So just so I, so I know what I'm measuring, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this way, but I'm gonna put this on this tray and I'm gonna do another one over here and then we're gonna salt it and then we're gonna use our hands. Look away, food police. We're gonna use our hands and mix it all so everything's evenly 
mixed. So all in all that just for me, that was a half cup of oil. Um, I'll look after, sometimes it needs a little bit more. Um, so once I get to that point, we'll know how much more. And then I'll take a piece of broccoli because this is good oil and get that bits that's left up in this. <laughs> this way you don't waste any. So before I mix it though, I'm gonna sprinkle pink salt on each tray. And broccoli, roasted broccoli tastes great. Leftover, um, you can put it in omelets. You can put it, you can have it for a side for lunch. So just because this is dinner doesn't mean that's all you have. Um, you know, you can only have it for dinner. Be creative when it comes to keto. There are no rules. So do what works for you. And this is what works for me. <laughs> um, there's normally never any leftover bro broccoli because it tastes just so delicious. And this is looking pretty darn good. I'm not gonna add any more to this pan. Um, I am gonna switch the pans here and mix this one. This one might need a little bit more because there's more on this pan. But I'm basically just massaging all that oil into the broccoli. And this is where using your hands works the best. So like I said, food police, look away. <laughs> I'm touching my own food in my camp kitchen. <laughs> But this one looks like it could use a little bit more. So I'm just gonna put about two tablespoons more on this tray, just because for the, um, the reason is it's a big, there's more on this tray. And measure your oil. You're gonna add a lot of the fat and from the, the calories from the fat and the oil adds up quickly. So just measure it and give it another mix. And I love also to just rinse my hands after I've handled this and I rub that olive oil, and I mean avocado oil, right into my skin. So at this point, we're gonna just stick this in the oven once it's preheated and we'll be back to flip it in 15 minutes. All right, and that's her sister's wine in the background, not hers. Olive oil right into your, um, avocado oil. I don't know why I keep calling it olive oil. Just rub yeah. that right into your skin mm -hmm. and hydrate and nourish that skin and then dry off the water. Especially the back of the hands. <laughs> Got up my warming tray. Just stick that dot there. What's the temperature that you're putting 400. in? 400. And, I'll, and I will set my timer. That's your oh, timer for 15. Okay, so I had a great day of eating. Um, I was at 17 of my 19 net carbs and, um, you know, about 1,300 calories-ish. And I had that three egg omelet with feta cooked in a half tablespoon of butter and stuffed with um, feta and Canadian bacon. My snack was a keto coffee so that was basically unflavored collagen. I do this every day. Unflavored collagen, heavy cream, black coffee, and ice. And then I completed my day with dinner and the dinner was lemon chicken with roasted broccoli. So I already have that recipe logged because I make lemon chicken all the time. Um, so the, the exact recipe and all that is on the website if you would like to um, make that, it's delicious. Um, but I had one serving of that, and where my carbs came from the for the day was from the broccoli. Um, I ended up having six ounces raw. I pre-measured uh, ahead of time, so it was six ounces raw, and then it was about three ounces of, I'm sorry, three tablespoons of avocado oil. So all in all, it was a great day. So um, but anyways, we'll see you back here tomorrow. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me two thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also, um, I will see you tomorrow. Let me know how you're doing in the comments with the Total Carb Challenge. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. <laughs>